We called you in 2019 for the machines. The problem was, is we can't find people and we needed uh, uh, more shifts. You know, we, we would run three shifts if we could. So we bought the Robotrek system and we bought a collaborative system and see which one would work best for us. Well, it didn't take long to figure out. And we kind of knew that the Robotrex was just much better. Uh, the change over time was uh, instant. Uh, we didn't have that operator that needed to set up a robot, a collaborative robot, you gotta have it, you gotta have them pick in place different sizes of materials. And with collaboratives, they, they're weight sensitive. So when we go from light to heavy parts, we would start to get errors. The Robotrek system is, a, is an industrial robot. You fence it, uh, very powerful and very fast. And so the efficiency is much better on the Robotrex. So after that, uh, we added the second, third, fourth, and, and we'll probably keep adding Robotrex as long as we got room or we start to move out the old equipment and update it. Then everything will be automated wherever we can. We're so short of people right now. The robots help fill that gap and it makes the operator and the machinist jobs far more interesting. They, be, they become much more engaged at work than they ever were before. And we've added four robots and we've added, I don't know how many people after that, because you're just simply growing and, and you need those people. We struggle for those people. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't have filled contracts in the last four years that we've been with Robotrex. We would have had to hire people that didn't exist, a lot of them, a lot more equipment instead of buying one or two, three or four robots, which one product we went from an operator on an eight hour shift is responsible for three pieces of equipment. So he was setting up, tearing down, and, and we're, we know we're stretching our guys thin. So pre-robot, that machine probably got three or four hours of spindle time a day. And this product, which has been ongoing since 2019, we went from four hours a day to 22 hours a day, six days a week, actually, if you, uh, it goes into Saturday also. So that's nearly six times uh, multiplier in productivity. So that was a no brainer. He would spend eight hours a day on three machines, constantly moving from one to the other. He's busy all day, in and out. It's kind of hard drudgery type of work, you know, as they're doing that. Now he spends 15 minutes on each machine a day. Sometimes he can go up to an hour total per machines. Well, now he has time to start going over and checking the parts and the, on the CMM and finding other things to do. They like it a lot more. The jobs have gotten a lot more interesting for them, for sure. Chris has been with us since probably 1998 or 99. Probably the mo most apprehensive because he's been with us so long. It's been a month and I, I don't think you can get him back. It's the way it was, no way. He knows and he's very happy with it. Life has become much easier for him and much more interesting too. We designed everything for a five axis and a Robotrex. Well, you can't nest products very well in a five axis. The envelopes are very small. You nest in verticals and especially horizontals. So you need like a Robotrex system where the nest is outside of, of the envelope. But now, you know, the advantage obviously is we can machine five sides. The downside was, was nesting. Well, Robotrex solves that problem. And the fact that Nobody has to program the robot. The robot's programmed once. It doesn't matter what product you put in there, it's grabbing a vise. And another thing I like about the Robotrex and the Lang system is, is the precision of the vices. The precision of those vices, and they make adapter plates for fixtures, for soft jobs and things like that. That's really is where we're starting to do that. We generally do that on a vertical or something like that. We're going now into the five axis now. At some point, if it's milling, we want it five axis and a Robotrex. Mm -hmm.